class is in session. Professor Jay here, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. We just finished our mock battle, and we're about to progress. Hooray! Excellent work today, Professor. Though our victory should come as no surprise. <laughs> because we're the best. Yes, it was. Further proof that you're well qualified to guide the Black Eagle. That was impressive, Professor. I mean, uh, impressive. We gained a victory because of your great leadership. Well, you were the MVP, girl. We certainly did. We all tried our best, of course, but we couldn't have won without you. I was curious what it would look like if you did not hold back. And you did not disappoint. Thanks, dog. <laughs> it, it is your birthday, after all. I dare all. say we owe our victory to Lady Edelgard. How so? For that battle, she was only a soldier following our professor's command. Sure, she was an incredibly powerful soldier. Don't worry about it too much, Linhart. All that matters is that we won. I'm all done with being on the battlefield, okay? I'd rather stay back than pursue victory out there. <laughs> you weren't even invited. You were all as ridiculous as always. We only managed to win because we worked together. Was it something I said? Is it so odd, me talking about togetherness? If so, that perception must change. In fact, I'm canceling the festivities so we can discuss this topic further. Oh, that sounds great. I'm kidding, of course. Come on, everyone. We've earned this celebration. I can't tell if her hair is meant to be like a pale blonde or if she's actually got white hair. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. That's my dad. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I totally did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. It's the idea. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. I guess the deer aren't invited. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, the guy is so nice. I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. My mission? Those affiliated with Garrig Mock Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need. Regardless of social standing, students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. Okay, we've got stuff to do. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood? Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. Nice. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Talk about high hopes! Bandits, they say. What? It's that voice in my brain. When we first met. You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? No, you can just rewind time for me at school. You are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. And yet... What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. Oh, this is that same dude from the opening. Someone needs a lozenge for that voice. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the night's former captain is in play. How interesting. Creepy. This isn't what I agreed to. Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. Well. What? Well then, all right. Now I must locate your replacements. Bye. Wait, get back here. Damn you. T 
straight up teleported. I guess that's not out of the uh, norm in Fire Emblem. <laughs> Part one. White cloud. Heartstring moon. Familiar scenery. Neat. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared. They do keep on referencing music. Their scenes across the vast plains of Teotine and Grande. There are new places to explore in the monastery. You received two thousand. Ooh, it's good to be rich. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. I'm gonna do it. Students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. Yeah, we're gonna murder them. The knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. Okay. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. Like the Spanish Inquisition. You will receive a message from the knights when it is time to depart. Until then. Use your time wisely. Okay. The last time we fought bandits, you saved me. Maybe I can return the favor this time. Let's do our best. The knights are well aware of our enemy's strength. We can count on them to keep the battlefield under control for us. It seems unlikely that we would lose. Still, let's do all we can to prepare. Okay. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Hi, Dad. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? <laughs> I'm a little bit of a lone wolf. I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? Yeah, but I've killed plenty of people. That's fairly routine for you, but... Don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. Stay vigilant and leave them. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not going the classic route here. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here. Don't let your guard down. Ever. Okay, Dad. That was a day. Oh, skipping straight to Sunday. Uh, it's Annette's birthday. Would you like to buy flowers? Yes. Thank you. She loved it. Oh, I see fishing and eating. A girl's voice. What could it mean? Accept the quest from Gerald and speak with your house leader. All right, I'll probably just skip around to the important stuff for you guys. It's my dad. That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of care. There you go. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. Starting with this month's mission, you can now lead a battalion into battle. Search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarters and peruse it to get up to speed. Okay. I see a bright, shiny light. Captain's quarters. Thanks for your help. I got the book. Rolling around at the speed of sound, got places to go, got to follow my rainbow. This isn't good. What? Would you kindly do something for me? Collect recipes for the head chef. Okay. In the library, huh? Nobody enjoys them. <laughs> the one thing I can make. You guys want to have another meal? Let's do it. We're going to have Manuela. 
Uh, and... Raphael loves to eat the food. This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. Good to know. This is delicious. My absolute favorite. I have a feeling he likes all of the food. Get those bonds. All right, we're getting there. Oh, Eloise. Oh, it's the first time in the entrance hall, I guess. Welcome to a place. This, I'm sure that eventually I will figure out how to navigate this place, but it just seems gigantically labyrinthian right now. Oh, Professor, how are you today? Ha ha! For a mission, I'll be seeing you. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. I hope you don't die. Is there anyone else in here with whom I can speak? Should probably check. What? That's this guy. Look bored. Care to do? Yes. What? I just wanted to spot. This guy's creeping me out. He might. I wonder if he is the dude who um was wearing the red mask. Who was like, oh, then you'll die. Wonder. Ugh, I need to get to the library so that I can get those recipes. Hello? I'm here for the thing. Tantalizing cookbook! I did it! Hey, what are you? Plastic cookbook. Do I need more? Or is that good? I already spoke with Linhard. Aha! Illustrated. Now I can report to the head chef. Okay. You're a lifesaver. Hooray! Give me all that stuff. Oh. Wait, I can I can cook oh, but that'll cost my thing. I don't want to do that yet. It's a cathedral. Praise whatever god there is. Hooray! Oh, and I still need to speak to Edelgard wherever she is. Yes. Doesn't appear as there's anyone here I know. Hello, choir coordinator. I have a favor to ask. Yes. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Inde? Blah, blah, Saint blah. Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. Not interested. Might you help me with a favor? A fish, huh? All the animals! Look at the kitty cats! Oh, hey. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, Wrong, young man. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, do you know what that no good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, What a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? What was he doing in your room? You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some night he is. Lol. For some students, this will be their first time stepping onto a real battlefield. Yeah. It's important that they're mentally prepared. As for me, <laughs> do I look green to you? No, you look red. Is there anything else you wish to ask me about? Regarding spending your time at the monastery? Or battles? Fishing time. We're going to try and fish. All right. Oh, it's a rhythm thing. This is like Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Good. Do you have a fish? Carassius. Neat. Do I have to meet back to her? I have to report to Flane. We will teleport. Haha. -ha. I like the teleport function. It's nice. Oh, Flane. Is 
something else. I just spoke to that little weirdo. You have helped me so much. Quest complete. I did the thing. My cooking is so good, it's been called seductive. Should I show you what I can do, Professor? That's not family friendly. Well, that's kind of impressive. I so enjoy cutting up vegetables in preparation to cook. So, I'll do that and leave you with the cleanup. Sounds about right. Oh. All right. Oh, and double increase to relationship. Yeah, I want to be able to recruit her. Need those strong mages. Are we all finished, aren't we? Is it time for me to go on that mission? Have you not been told what's expected from lectures here? Well, I can tell you how it works based on what I've heard from other professors. Okay, we're going to teach some children some things. We can instruct or auto-instruct. Let's try our hand at it first. Edelgard. Oh, we have three activity points, so can we only teach three kids something? Okay. She needs to work on axe, I guess, huh? Shows proficiency as well. She has a D in that and a D in flags. Whatever, work on that. No, um, work on that, work on flags, whatever those are. And, uh, how about work on wearing some armor? More axe? I still have much to learn. Good for you. Hubert. Cumberdale. Um, bow and arrow? Ferdinand. Yes, you like it a spear. I am beginning to understand. Good. Oh, oh, can't use them with everyone. I got it. Whoops. Uh, nah. Yeah, you're good at it. I haven't done anything with you, so how about that? Goals? Uh, wow, this is so in depth. Begin lecture. I have a question. You know how sometimes an ordinary girl can be more popular than an exceptional beauty, or how with aristocrats some prefer a viscount when they could have a duke instead? Why do you think that is? Uh, everyone has their own preferences. By any chance, are you just feeding me a random answer? No! Well, I get experience anyway. A week's full of stuff. It's a perfect day to exert oneself. Oh, no. This is impossible. Horses are impossible, guys. I did it! Support points between the two increased. Got some money and some smithing stones. Okay. All right, cool. And now it's a birthday. Raphael. Yes, you can have some flowers, my friend. My hungry boyfriend. They're edible. It's an edible arrangement. All right, we're gonna uh, jump into this battle and murder some uh, some bandits on the next episode. So I hope you guys check that one out. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying this. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy. Class dismissed.